Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the ninth. We're gonna see what happens. It's gonna happen for around the ninth. Timing is fluid. The Emperor reversed. So this is somebody that, that deserts you in a time of need. This is corrupt behavior. Disorganization of some sort. Uh, could be even some criminal activity. Um, very controlling energy. So we got somebody here that is very, very controlling. They want to be in control. Right? Um, power hungry. So if somebody is power hungry, which is absolutely clear. We got somebody here that is power hungry. Five of Pentacles reversed. Um, insecure. There's some sort of insecurities here. Now this is um, a major loss of some sort. It is. It could have something to do with a father. Doesn't have to be. But this is a very masculine energy that it wants to be in control. This is a major loss, but there could also be some light at the end of the tunnel. With the Five of Pentacles reversed. So this is like coming out of darkness. You know, coming out of a dark period. Queen of Swords reversed. The Queen of Swords reversed is... Somebody that is very, very hard to deal with, okay? Um, I don't know if there's some sort of punishment here. Somebody may be punishing another individual with that Queen of Swords reversed. There's lack of professionalism. Somebody's not being very professional. Um, there's some sort of... Uh, unlawfulness here. Somebody is doing something that is against the law. They're doing it out of the need to be in control. All right. There's some sort of deceit here. Dishonesty. Um, uh, somebody may be dealing with a very hateful, vengeful individual. <laughs> Prince of Pentacles. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is something solid. Somebody's faith is being tested. Or they're being tested, period. Somebody is being tested. Their integrity is being tested. Now this is a card of responsibility and planning. And there could also be an offer that is coming as well with the Knight of Pentacles. There could be some sort of profit, profitable gain that is coming. Somebody may be working on building some of the, some financial security or some sort of security. Um, needing to use common sense. There could be an improvement here. Let me just turn this off. Somebody may be seeing an improvement after... Um, Maybe getting some bad news. I mean, the Queen of Swords in reverse can be some bad news. But there could be light at the end of the tunnel. Let's hope and pray that there is. Um, but we do have somebody here that has some control issues. Major power-hungry individual, okay? This may be a boss. You know, this may be a boss that could be an Aries. Um, that is power crazed, you know, in some sort of mindset, they want some sort of control, you know, so they may have uh, turned somebody away, you know, not very practical by the looks of things. Um, now this is all about being practical, being responsible, acting with integrity. Hmm. Somebody wants to be, it's like they, they want to prove their status. They want to prove their position, you know. Judgment, a call, a call. This may have something to do with a telephone call or a judgment call or something like that. 
Judgment is a card of truth. It's also a card of chance, giving somebody a chance. Somebody may be given a chance. They may be receiving a call that they're getting a chance. Uh, maybe they're getting a chance from somebody else. Judgment. Judgment is a card of truth. It's a card of uh, forgiveness, acceptance. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness or wanting forgiveness or needing forgiveness. There is going to be a turning point here. A turning point is coming. Coming. Somebody is, is going to be receiving. They're going to be getting a chance because this is a chance. A chance for, I don't know. A new life by the looks of things because that's what judgment is to you I, or to me um, we do have a, a somebody that is not happy though with the Queen of Swords reverse we have somebody here that is really not happy they're very very um, I don't know bitter probably now judgment is a card of renewal or revival Somebody's getting an opportunity. They are because that page of pentacles has a has a golden opportunity in their hand. So somebody is getting an opportunity. It's going to take a lot of hard work. And it may be have something to do with recovering because of that five of pentacles reverse. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We have a very controlling individual who is power hungry that may have uh, deserted you. They may have deserted you you know, at the wrong moment, you know, there's that they deserted another person, but there's another opportunity that is coming. There's another opportunity that is coming. Okay. There's this is a card of karma as well. Karma never loses an address for this person that is power hungry. Okay. So somebody is, is receiving some sort of karma. Somebody is going to be held accountable. Responsibility is going to be assigned. Um, there's some sort of protection here as well. It feels like there's someone from the other side that is uh, helping, you know, helping to facilitate something solid, you know, trying to guide somebody in a new direction. Now, this is about being accepted. Somebody is about to be accepted. An offer. Somebody may be getting an offer that's going to be accepted. Somebody's going, because this is accepted. Now, I don't know if it's from a bank or a financial institution or, I don't know what this is. I mean, the page of the Prince of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that is um, financially stable giving somebody a chance <laughs> two of pentacles reverse well two of, we got somebody here that's made some poor financial decisions okay they may have not had any contingency plan okay this is a this is upheaval it's chaos it's things crashing down something coming crashing down causing upheaval <laughs> yes sir But with this Queen of Swords reverse, somebody's uh, probably going to get a rude awakening. It feels like there's a rude awakening here with the Queen of Swords reversed. I don't know what it is. There's somebody here that doesn't care. Very unsympathetic. We have an unsympathetic individual that is, that is, it's almost like taking something away from somebody because of power. This is a power trip. We have somebody here that isn't a power trip. Six of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Interesting. Sixes are taking a journey. They are. It's the journey to balance and harmony. Receiving something. 
Somebody is going to be receiving something. They're going to be getting what they deserve. It's going to be an offer. Somebody is going to be getting an offer that they deserve. Um, it's going to make them. It's going to make them very happy. It's from somebody that is caring. Okay, we have somebody here that is caring, that is going to be giving somebody something that. It's all, and I'm, I'm having a hard time wording it. It's uh, they're they're going to be receiving something generous. Somebody's going to be receiving a generous offer. They're going to be given a chance, but it's something that they they did not get because they were neglected, they were abandoned, they were put out in the cold, they were shut down, somebody was shut down, they were turned away, somebody was turned away by a individual, or individuals, could be two people, that are power hungry, okay, they, were, they weren't taken care of, now they're going to be getting something better, they are, they're going to be getting something more emotionally fulfilling, from somebody else. Now the Six of Cups is, is uh, memories and it's nostalgia, it's um, innocence, you know, it's something to do with innocence. We may have somebody here that is very, very emotional as well. Somebody may be receiving even an offer from somebody from the past, okay, that they dealt with in the past, you know, they talked to in the past or something like that. There is going to be a resolution, okay, There's a resolution is coming, somebody's going to be finding a resolution. Um, There's some sort of kindness here. Somebody's going to be receiving something very, very kind. You know, it feels like there's there's a good, kind, genuine, real offer that is coming from somebody who actually cares rather than this person or people that don't really care. We, I mean, the emperor in reverse is somebody who's not really interested in helping. You know, that person's not really interested in helping. They had ulterior motives. This person isn't very experienced in what they do. Not good at business. Not good at business transactions. Very unprofessional. So we have somebody here that is not professional that has, has neglected somebody or pushed somebody away or turned them down, you know. This has turned them down. This is, this is upheaval. This is chaos. This is no contingency plan. But there's karma here. There is karma. And there's past actions. Okay, this is something to do with the past. Somebody is going to be receiving something that they deserve because of their past actions. Because of their integrity. Because of who they are. But whoever they've been dealing with is not very caring and not very kind. This person's power hungry. So anyway, that judgment card is some sort of um, awakening or epiphany or um, life-changing decision. You know, somebody's making a decision. They're getting an offer that is going to change their life. This is an offer that's going to change their life. This is a very real, genuine offer. Somebody's going to be taking a journey, okay, with these two sixes. Journey is about uh, a journey to balance and harmony. Okay, somebody's going to be taking a journey. It's like they're they're going to a better place.
It's a time of reevaluation. Somebody's going to be reevaluating something. Somebody may even be getting a gift. This may be a gift. Keep in mind what goes around comes around. Somebody, again, I mean, that's for somebody else. What goes around comes around. This is somebody getting what they deserve. So somebody is going to be getting exactly what they deserve, whether it be good or bad. We have an individual here that has deserted somebody in their time of need. Okay? This person has abused their power. Okay? And they have no remorse. Okay? Now, they're, now they, they've taken something away. They've taken something away. But whoever they've taken something away from is going to be receiving something even better in return. And this other person is going to be the, the loser. There may even be a reunion here with these two cards. There definitely could be some sort of reunion or reminiscing. Wheel of Fortune, positive, good luck. Something positive is coming. This is a positive change. This is good luck. This is uh, fortune is on your side. Something is meant to be. You are destined. Something is destined. Positive change is coming. Somebody that has deserted another individual, because that emperor is, is, is deserted. This is somebody that's on the wrong side of the law that is very self centered, entitled, power hungry. I feel like this person is losing an opportunity because I feel like I feel like there's a there's another opportunity that is coming in. There's another opportunity that is coming in. It's it's a change. Okay, it's a change. It's a change. It's a very positive change. Somebody is about to get exactly what they deserve, a very generous, loving offer. That is going to make them very, very happy, okay? Somebody's going to be getting... And it's, it's, it's... It's going to probably make them thank the Lord, you know, thank the Lord. That's all I can say is thank you, God. So anyway, I feel like we have... Um, The end of one contract. The lovers reverse on the bottom. And the beginning of another. So we have one contract that is ending. And a new one is beginning. Somebody is going to be given something. They're going to be given something that really makes them feel emotional may bring them right to their knees with with uh, thanks, you know? That's what I feel. I feel like it's thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So anyway, be prepared for a positive change with that Wheel of Fortune. That is a positive change. Life is always changing. Somebody is moving in a new direction. 
They definitely are. This is the end of a cycle. And it may be an end of a cycle for some of poverty. Okay, somebody may be getting a new job. They may be getting hired. This could be a new job. They could be, or they could be, whatever they're getting, it leads to stability. It's, it, it is. They're going to be given a chance. Somebody is going to be given a chance. They're going to be given a chance to start a new chapter. Seriously. So something very positive is coming. It comes It comes suddenly, but it comes after some sort of push away. Push away. It's like, no. Somebody gets told no. Nope. And it, and it, and it puts the wheel in motion. You know, it puts things in motion for something better. Good luck.